Let's talk about valid and invalid syllogisms. And yes, for this video, I have dressed up. Syllogism is a form of deductive reasoning where you state a major premise, a minor premise, and then a conclusion. For a syllogism to be valid and true, the major premise and the minor premise must both be true. Let us take a look and see what happens when a syllogism is false. I have an argument against evolution that... And having an argument against evolution is like having an argument against rain. I assume this clown means evolutionary theory and not evolution. I'd like you to reflect upon and engage with in a scholarly way. That's right, engage in a scholarly way, and he didn't even take the time to turn his fucking radio off. My first premise is it is not possible for chance to produce structure and order with purpose. That is major premise. For the sake of argument we can say it is true. However, it has absolutely nothing at all to do with evolution nor evolutionary theory. To continue... Premise 2, evolution is based on chance. Minor premise is false, has absolutely nothing to do with evolution. Evolution is not based on chance, therefore the syllogism is false. We'll continue anyways. Conclusion, therefore evolution cannot produce structure and order with purpose. Syllogism, element three, is true. How can this be? If a syllogism has as its primary or secondary premise a falsehood, such as evolution being based on chance, how can the conclusion be true? Because the conclusion is based upon observed reality and has absolutely nothing to do with the primary or the secondary premise. Evolution has no purpose. It is an observed natural phenomena. No natural phenomena have purpose. It has a result, of course, differential reproductive success that is hereditary, that is evolution in a nutshell. It has no idea that it is doing that because it has no brain. Syllogism is false, the conclusion is true. Let's continue. I ask uh, all atheists out there Atheist? Atheist? Why the bloody fuck ask only the atheist out there? Why not ask, I don't know, biologist? Atheist? What the fuck? And anybody to engage in the argument, to criticize it, to offer objective and scholarly comment. My objective and scholarly comment is you're a moron. An ignoramus, idiot, uneducated in what evolution is. Your syllogism is false because your secondary premise is false. Evolution is not based upon chance. No scientist out there says it, it, that it is. And to quote you, evolution producing structure with order and purpose it does not. No scientist says that it does. No scientist says that it can. It cannot. It is a natural phenomena. Therefore, you have absolutely no idea what the bloody hell you are talking about. <sighs> In my defense... Your only defense is that you are ignorant. For this video, uh, I will produce a, a video response to all those who give critical comment. Unless you are going to apologize to everybody, don't bother. Thank you for listening, and God bless you. Why? Did everybody sneeze? That's right, engage in a scholar... scholar... Syllogism! Element 3 is true. Element... Uh,